Recreational fishing in Texas is great. In Texas, we don't have many natural bodies of water other than rivers and creeks, but most people that do fish, fish in reservoirs or in lakes. Because of that, most of the economic impact is actually through fishing on reservoirs. So we want to make sure we, we conserve these reservoirs and these fishing opportunities by restoring habitat. Most reservoirs in Texas were built back in the 50s and 60s. So a lot of that natural habitat that existed in the lake back when the reservoir was new are now decomposing. When a reservoir is constructed, they try to find a good location where actually that could get water running through, usually a creek. So they could build a, a dam so it traps the water. That'll flood a reservoir up and anything that's laying low, like trees, shrubs, plants, will get inundated. And that initially serves as the initial fish habitat. Most of it is made of wood and, and leaves, but it all deteriorates and, you know, it's all biodegradable. So we need to replenish that habitat to allow fish to thrive. We could always supplement the, the woody debris, the vegetation, or any type of cover that fish need. And we could do that by cutting trees that are not wanted, something like cedar trees. We could also use artificial habitat that different commercial producers make. These things are put together to mimic trees that creates cover. That looks good. When we complete our habitat projects, we actually have different sites along the lakes. So these structures are, are marked with a GPS coordinate, and they're actually made public on our website, on TPWD. Anybody who wants to try them out can go out there and load those, those coordinates and put them on their depth finder and find these structures. We'll go to this one for now. We can't do this alone. Parks and Wildlife has, a, we have the expertise to get it done. However, these projects can become expensive and they, they're labor intensive. So we need partnerships to actually get these great projects on the water. Friends of Reservoirs is a great group. And these groups are usually composed of stakeholders that have the common interest of conservation and fishing. So they team up with Texas Parks and Wildlife and uh, we, we do some great projects around the state. There's one on there. Oh. If you want to get involved and help TPWD with these conservation initiatives, uh, feel free to call your local district biologist and get involved and help us in conservation. We can't do it alone. It made my day. This project was funded in part by a grant from the Sport Fish Restoration Program.